stand by. And they're racing, and over on the outside, one of the best to begin Shazavik, but Prince Bradley commands quickly, so also did Gallant Man. And over on the outside, going up quickly, Pantheon. Munnings was just behind them, and there goes Delion around the outside very quickly, being followed by Shazavik. Three parts of a length for the back, and on the fence, Indigo Lace followed then by Prince Bradley, and Banyula Boy was last of all. Uh, in the centre of the field as they made their way towards the 600, a Delion has poked his head in front, and Delion drew out a half length in advance now of Pantheon. Three parts of a length for the back behind them, then as Munnings being closely attended then, uh, by uh, probably one around the outside coming into it rather quickly, Gallant Man. A little further out as Prince Bradley being closely attended then, uh, by Indigo Lace and a good gap for the back as Prince Bradley. But by the time they came along to make their way around the home turn, and Delion is clear. Delion is shot clear at the distance in advance of but in second place is Munnings and down the outside Indigo Lace is coming home with a great run. Indigo Lace has reached the lead with 50 metres left to run and Indigo Lace is coming right away. Indigo Lace was first, Munnings second, third Delion. Then came Prince Bradley followed by gallant man Van Eula Boy. A gap for the back behind them then uh, would have been uh, probably... Uh, is Lero Star, alongside of it was Pantheon, and last to greet the judge in the event would have been Shasavik. Wait for judges' official placings, but there is no doubt about the winner. Stand by. Ah, uh, they're racing, and over on the outside, Cardinal Moon, the best to begin, but soon after, a Bing Dong took over. A uh, back in third place has Voodoo Doll, and up the head of the others then. Uh, moving up around the outside very prominently would have been Monterey Maid. Voodoo Doll behind them, then Domino Dan. Over on the outside, coming into it rather quickly, Saka. And last of all, at this stage of the trip, I uh, would have been uh, probably Diamond Fingers, and just in front of it was Crystal Garden. As they make their way along towards the 700, and the Bing Don was just the leader from Cardinal Moon, two and a half lengths for the back as Monter Monterey made. Over on the outside, moving up quickly, Crystal Garden being followed by Saka. A length and a half for the back as Diamond Fingers, a fair way back and working very hard. At this stage would have been Voodoo Blue, and back behind them then, last of all, is Domino Dan. Around the turn for home, and Crystal Moon and the sun has got the bib in front now, and getting down past the distance, and Crystal Moon is clear of Saka in second place, and over to the outside uh, would have been uh, probably a Bing Dong being followed by one in the centre, running on fairly well. Uh, would have been uh, probably Voodoo Blue, but in the run to the judge, Cardinal Moon far too good, and Cardinal Moon has won it well from Saka. A wall of horses there for third money, including the very fast finishing uh, uh, one in the centre was Diamond Fingers. Over on the inside of it was Domino Dan, not very far away, and Voodoo Doll. A gap for the back behind that one then was Saka being followed by Monterey Maid. And last to greet the judge in the event was a Bing Don. Wait for judges' official placings after the running of the second race on the card. Stand by. Diamond, one of the best to begin, go for Diamonds, bounced out in advance of the Ben Barra Gold. Moving up on the fence is Amaru Lass, and over near the outside is Royce Protégé, and in the centre is True Redeemer. As they settle fully into stride and make their way down towards the 700, and the top weight Ben Barra Gold was breezing along on the steel, a half length in advance of Go for Diamonds on the fence, travelling well, is Amaru Lass, two and a half lengths further back as True Redeemer, and True Protégé was last of all. As they make their way along past the 400, and Ben Barra Gold is just the leader. On the fence, Omaru Lass, go for Diamonds, True Redeemer, and under the whip is Roy's protege, but as they came along to sneak their bibs around the corner, and Omaru Lass is getting the run on the fence, go for Diamonds in the centre, and Ben Barra Gold down the outside, Ben Barra Gold and go for Diamonds, settle down a fight it out between them, Ben Barra Gold on the outside doing a little bit the better, and Ben Barra Gold has beaten go for Diamonds, True Redeemer got up and ran third, are uh, being followed by Amaru 
last and last the great the judge in the event was Roy's protege. Wait for judges' official placings, but there is no element of doubt about the winner. Stand by. Ah, they're racing this time on sled near the fence, the best to begin and bounce down in advance of Mr. Termac. Our fiery blaze commands rather quickly. A tough Tom and there goes Prairie Fire around the outside rapidly, being followed by Polo Rage. Elden Wind was on the fence and Fleet Street is on the outside. As they fully settle into stride and make their way out of the straight and down towards the... Uh, uh, 1600 and Prairie Fire has whipped around the outside and taken over. Prairie Fire was bearing its molars to the breeze to be out two and a half lengths in advance of Fiery Blaze. Two lengths for the back and third place travelling well Mr. Termac. Fleet Street is on the outside and about four lengths for the back in the event then a sled are being followed by Tough Tom and the last two are Polo Rage and Elden Wind. Along the back of the track they travel and past the uh, 1200 and bowling along in front it was Prairie Fire, with an advantage of only a length in advance of Fleet Street, a half length for the back. On the fence then is Fiery Blaze, and two lengths away travelling well as Mr. Termac. About two and a half lengths for the back then, I would have been one moving around the outside rather quickly, is Polo Rage, being followed up the head of the others then by your sled. Tough Thomas on the outside of it, and last of all is Elden Wind. As they make their way along past the 900 and Prairie Fire has jumped, been joined in front by Fleet Street and soon after Fleet Street has got the bib in front and it drew out three parts of a length and advanced now of Prairie Fire. In third place then is Fiery Blaze and coming forward very quickly in the centre of the field then why would have been Elden Wind and up the head of the others then is Mr. Termac. A gap of three lengths for the three parts of a length for the back then is Tough Tom and under the whip is Polo Rage around the turn for home and Fleet Street is clear. Fiery Blaze on the outside is finishing determinantly and looking for a run between them then. I would have been the top weight Elden Wind but inside the distance and Fleet Street is clear. Pra Prairie Fires are doing nothing at all nor is Fiery Blaze and in the run of the judge Fleet Street has won it well from Fiery Blaze. In third place would have been Elden Wind followed by Sled. A gap for the back in the field then Tough Tom. A fair way back was Prairie Fire along side of it polo rage and last the great the judge in the event undoubtedly would have been mr termac well the gray was far too good for them wait for the winning number but there is no element of doubt about the money stand by mm -hmm. i started standing up on the uh, stalls ready to let them go Ah, they're racing, and only Bluffing, who drew two from the fence, was the best to begin. And only Bluffing bounced out in advance of Fuela Bench, and keen to win is crossing over quickly at the judge. Superior Peak is travelling well. At the head of the others, feels so good, being followed around the outside by Derrick, and then came Show Dignity. Only Bluffing dropping back with River General, and then came a Mr. Rubble on the outside, and Per Mill was last of all. Ah, uh, 1,600 metres out and keen to win was bearing its molars to the breeze a length in advance now of Show Dignity. But before you can say Bob's your uncle, Show Dignity got to the front and 1,400 out and Show Dignity with the rider losing the cap was out three lengths in advance of keen to win. Three lengths for the back of Superior Peak are uh, being followed then by Tula Bench and moving up very quickly in the centre. Uh, his feels so good. Over on the outside, Mr. Rubble, the rider on River a general in lots of trouble standing up in the irons dropping out last of all and second last is only bluffing as they went past the thousand and going around the outside keen to win has taken over again and keen to win is leading three parts of a length mr rubble show dignity at the head of the others then going around the outside quickly as per mill three parts of a length for the back as feels so good a length and a half superior peak a gap for the back as derrick on being followed down on the outside by river general 
middle, three parts of a length for the back, then it's Chula Bench, and last of all is only bluffing. A keen to win on top of the field, 500 out. In second place is Mr. Rubble under the whip. Over on the outside, Per Miller's coming into it rapidly. Three parts of a length for the back, then. I would have been feel so good being followed by River General and show dignity on the fence around the turn for home. And he's gone for the cane on this one. A keen to win, and by the distance, it was clear of Per Mill. He's still wielding the cane, and it's not to keep the flies away. In second place is Per Mill being followed then by Feel So Good. Keen to win in front, Feel So Good, and River General on the outside, and maybe Feel So Good in the centre. Feel So Good may have just beaten Keen to win River General. Then Per Mill followed by only bluffing. A superior peak, a gap for the back then behind them uh, was Chula Bench being followed by Derrickon. And last, the great Majaji on the event would have been show dignity. The judge has called for the photo uh, to determine the three place getters. Uh, keen to win looked as if he had it shot to pieces with about 50 or 60 metres left to run, but then feels so good in the centre. And River General, who was being ridden hard or ridden uh, hard on the home corner, uh, was finishing rapidly down the outside, and they've gone to the line absolutely locked together. Can the jumper off Rambell? Lights on. New orange into the rail. They stand well. Ready? They're racing. And a new orange, the best to begin, bounced out three parts of a length in advance of Rambell. And Sandman obviously hasn't got a lot of pace because he's dropped out two and a half lengths away last the ball. Up the rise they travel past the 800 and New Orange on top led a length in advance of Rambell and three lengths further back of Sandman last the ball. Racing along past the 600 and doing it well, New Orange, three parts of a length in advance of Rambell and last of all is still Sandman. Our positions haven't altered to any extent, 400 metres left to run. It was still New Orange over Ram Bell and Sandman under the whip. As they came along to sneak their bibs around the corner, and New Orange is going to flatten out for the run to the judge on the chestnut is clear. In second place is Ram Bell. In third position then is Sandman, but inside the distance, and New Orange, the rider, hasn't stirred. She's sitting as cool as a blabonge upon this one. And in the run to the judge, a New Orange Rangers won it well, second was the Sandman, and last the great the judge in the event uh, was Rambell minus the jumper. Wait for judges official placings, but there is no element of doubt about the winner. Still a little bit of uh, hold up for some reason. Ah, they're racing this time, a perfect dispatch, but one of the best to break the line. Ah, probably would have been Glacial Stream. Goldon has got away quickly, and on the fence is Brenton John, and over on the outside, Stately Way, being followed by Boitkoi Glory. A gap of three parts of a length for the back then is come Baraka, being followed then by Wild Statement and Hot Bray. Underneath the 800, and breezing along on the steel, it was Goldon, a length in advance of Stately way. Travelling third is uh, on the outside is Glacial Stream and Brenton John is on the fence doing it rather nicely. A little bit further out while Stephen is coming into it rapidly being followed by Boitkoi Glory and last of all in the event is Hot Bray. As they came towards the corner and on the inside rail the narrow leader would be Stately Way from Count Baraka on the outside coming forward rapidly. Goldon is dropping off slightly. A Boitkoi Glory up the head of the others being followed then by Glacial Stream and down the outside Hot Bray being followed then by Wild Statement halfway down the straight and Stately Way in front being tackled on the outside by Count Baraka Stately Way in front and Stately Way beat Count Baraka photo for third between Hot Bray and on the inside of it Glacial Stream a gap for the back then would have been Wild Statement in behind them Boitkoi Glory a fair way back and the event was the only leader gold on and last the great the judge on the event was Brenton John. Wait for judges official placings but you'll find that Stately Way has hung on to beat Count Baraka and a photo for third. Stand by.